The Art of Shadow Theatre, Insight into the Traditional Practice and Cultural Significance in Various Cultures. Shadow Theatre, an enchanting and ancient form of storytelling, stands as a testament to the creative expression inherent in human cultures. This art form, which involves the manipulation of figures between a source of light and a translucent screen to create the illusion of moving images, has a rich history that spans various cultures, each imbued with its own unique characteristics and significance. Originating over a millennium ago, the practice of shadow theatre is most prominently associated with regions in Asia, particularly China, India, and Indonesia, as well as in the Middle East. In China, shadow theatre, known as a Paiying Eleven, dates back to the Han Dynasty and is closely linked to ancestral worship and storytelling. The Chinese shadow plays typically involve intricately cut figures made from leather, painted and adorned to represent characters from popular folklore and historical tales. The artistry of these puppets is matched by the skill of the puppeteers, who deftly bring them to life with synchronized movement and voice. The narratives often contain moral lessons, reflecting Confucian values and societal norms. In Indonesia, particularly in Java and Bali, Shadow theatre is known as Wayang Kulit. This tradition is deeply intertwined with the Javanese interpretation of Hinduism and indigenous spiritual beliefs. The plays, usually performed overnight, depict episodes from Hindu epics like the Ramayana and Mahabharata, as well as local Javanese stories. The puppets are made from buffalo hide and mounted on bamboo sticks, with a central figure, the Dalang or Puppet Master orchestrating the performance. The Dalang is not just a puppeteer but a storyteller, musician, and spiritual guide, often interpreting the stories to offer wisdom relevant to contemporary life. In India, shadow theatre is found in various forms such as Tholu Bomalata in Andhra Pradesh and Tagalu Gombeata in Karnataka. These performances are rich in musical tradition and are often tied to local festivals and religious ceremonies. The Indian shadow puppets, typically made of leather, are more stylized and less realistic than their Chinese counterparts, with a focus on vibrant colors and exaggerated forms, reflecting the diverse artistic traditions of the Indian subcontinent. The art of shadow theater also found its way to the Middle East and Turkey, where it is known as Karagos and Hasavat. In this tradition, the performances often revolve around the humorous interactions between the two main characters, Karagos, the common man, and Hasavat, the more educated one. These plays tend to be more improvisational and satirical, reflecting social and political commentary pertinent to the audience. In each of these cultures, shadow theatre is not merely a form of entertainment but a significant cultural practice. It serves as a medium for storytelling, preserving folklore, moral education, and social commentary. The performances are often accompanied by traditional music and singing, creating a multisensory experience that is deeply immersive. The puppeteers, with their mastery over the puppets and narrative, are regarded as custodians of cultural heritage, often passing down their skills through generations. The cultural significance of shadow theatre extends beyond its traditional roots. In contemporary times, this art form has seen a revival and adaptation in various parts of the world. Modern practitioners use shadow theatre to explore diverse themes, including contemporary social issues, thereby keeping the tradition alive and relevant. This adaptability highlights the universal appeal of storytelling through shadows, a testament to the enduring power of this traditional art form. In summary, shadow theatre, with its intricate puppets and captivating performances, is a rich cultural tradition that varies remarkably across different regions. It is a reflection of the cultural, religious, and social narratives of the societies in which it evolved. More than just a performance art, it is a vessel for storytelling, cultural reflection, and moral education, bridging the past and present, and continuing to enchant audiences worldwide.